Hello there, truth seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a tale of celebrity antics, hypocrisy, and a healthy dose of reality. In a recent turn of events, the world watched as Hollywood A-listers Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, and Blake Lively took a leisurely stroll through the blustering streets of New York City. Three immensely popular stars, each with a staggering net worth, opted for normalcy, dressed in casual ensembles that blended seamlessly with the crowd. No paparazzi friendly, no entourage of SUVs, just a simple walk among the people. But stop right there before we disclose the details, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. What's coming next is worth waiting for. So now, let's juxtapose the scene with the recent escapades of Harry and Meghan, the raw rebels who seem to have a penchant for drama and a knack for making headlines, unlike Jackman, Reynolds and Lively who effortlessly blended in with the crowd, Harry and Meghan's attempts at normalcy have always felt false, staged and quite frankly ridiculous. Take for instance their recent NYC trip for the Archwell Foundation Summit, an event obscenity centred around mental health and environmental consciousness. The irony was as thick as the Manhattan smog, despite years of preaching about environmental issues, the couple chose to travel in a convoy of seven gas-guzzling SUVs, raising eyebrows and drawing criticism from all corners. The blatant hypocrisy was not lost on keen observers. American commentator Michael Cole minced no words calling out the Sussexes for their stance on global warming. He pointed out the absurdity, especially in the context of their extravagant lifestyle choices. To put it plainly, their actions spoke louder than their carefully curated speeches. Now let's not forget the infamous NYC car chase, a tale spun by Harry and Meghan that was met with widespread skepticism. The sheer audacity of their claims coupled with their grandiose gestures only served to reinforce the perception that the couple was living in a fantasy world. In a stark contrast, we have Jackman, Reynolds and Lively, celebrities who understand that true influence is earned through genuine actions, not empty words. They didn't need a fleet of cars, a swarm of bodyguards or a media circus. They walk the streets of NYC like everyday people. So here's the reality check. While Harry and Meghan continue their quest for attention, using their raw ties to remain relevant, the world is watching. We see through the charade, the exaggerated theatrics and attempts to paint themselves as victims. In a world where true authenticity is celebrated, their manufactured images fall flat. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more Royal News and Analysis.